Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you to the wonderful world of body photo fitting and how you can take a photo of yourself and turn it into an animatable character in a few easy steps. The first thing you'll want to do is import your image by selecting the Actor Creator tool on the left toolbar. Once you've selected your photo, you can crop out any unwanted areas around your main character with the Crop tool. Next is masking out your background. A common first step here is to use the Fill tool to get most of the background out of the way. You can adjust the tolerance to mask out more or less of the background as you please. To go into more detail, zoom into a particular part of your character and you can use the Erase tool to mask out some of the overlapped areas. You can also adjust the brush size to get more detailed edges for your character masking. After you've finished masking, you need to select Next to go on to the actor fitting. In the first step of actor fitting, you need to set these six basic points to their respective areas on the body. The wrists, ankles, pelvis, and collarbone. Next you need to rig the skeleton by placing white indicators all over the character's joints, including the elbows and knees. One indicator should go on top of the head, and the next one down should go at the base area of the chin. Sometimes your character won't be entirely symmetrical, so you'll need to turn off the mirror option in order to adjust each side individually. In the next detailed body fitting step, you need to make sure that all of the actor material is encompassed within the indicator areas. I'll zoom in on the arm quickly to show you a closer look. You can click and drag the smaller white indicators to expand the actor material area. For the main joint indicators, you can click and drag within the small circles surrounding them to enlarge or reduce the size of that joint's reach. You can turn off the auto detect feature so that the program won't try to automatically fit the size of your joints. Once you've done that, go to the body calibration section. Here is where you will check your fitting for material overlaps and abnormalities. You can click and drag body parts to see what edges need to be refined or masked out. I've noticed an irregularity on the upper torso of my character, so I'm going to enter into the mask editor here and mask that out similar to what I did in the background in the previous step. You can use the same tools as the original masking procedure to mask out the errant material. Now as you can see when I click OK, the jagged shirt edge is gone. When you are in composer mode, you can modify the size and position of any body part. All characters come with a default library for the hands, which includes a number of different sprites that will automatically change according to different puppeteering motions input by animator. You can replace these at any time with your own custom sprites. Once you've made your final edits, you can exit into the stage mode. You can also import custom heads from Crazy Talk 6 onto your fitted bodies. Here I'm taking a couple of bodies from our content pack common folks, and I'm going to import in some new heads. I can just click and drag my head from its Explorer folder, or also I can import it in from my custom heads library. After I've applied the heads, I'll apply an embedded animation to make them do the chicken dance. And that's how easy it is. 